Cartoon Network's regular show is anything but regular. Plots that don't make sense, characters that defy logic, and slow-witted humor all come together to create this iconic show. I think he wants me to put the hurt on him. I think he wants you to put the hurt on him. You think he wants me to put the hurt on him? Yes, I do. Ah! Ah! Welcome to The Rewind. Today, we'll be counting down the top 10 best regular show episodes. Before we begin, make sure to give this video a like and hit the subscribe button for good luck. Number 10, The Last Laser Disc Player. Are you really that dense old man? Microfiche knew who I was. <gasps> DVD! Way to crack the jewel case, Laserdisc Holmes. There's something amusing about characters in regular show fighting over something so vintage and obscure like a Laserdisc player. They just so happen to come across the very last one in existence. They're dubbed as Chosen Heroes after realizing that all of the other Laserdisc players have been destroyed. In good old regular show fashion, something as mundane as a vintage machine leads to a huge and climactic fight, all just so Mordecai and Rigby can watch old movies. I am the last of my order, sworn to protect the final laser disc player, and you, you are the chosen ones who set me free. Whoa. Number 9. Death Sandwich. Looks like it's time for a little payback. Let's see how they like it when somebody steals their sandwich. <laughs> Benson decides to eat Mordecai and Rigby's sandwich as a way to get back at them for all the trouble they've caused him. Unfortunately, Benson had no idea that he took a bite of a death sandwich, which, if eaten incorrectly, is surprisingly deadly. Mordecai and Rigby go on a death Quan Du quest to save their boss, sporting mullets and jean shorts. There's even a callback to one of the first episodes in the series, which actually lands at number 7 on our countdown. There's two of them. It's the one on the organic multigrain. Opposite, we have the deadliest sandwich known to man, the Double Death Sandwich. Number 8. My Mom My Uncle John, he's a mechanic. That's cool. You know who taught him? My Mom! Yes! Who can forget the first time we were introduced to Muscle Man? The character instantly became a fan favorite thanks to his loud personality and how genuine he is. His famous line, my mom, was repeated so many times in this one episode alone that it ultimately became the character's catchphrase throughout the rest of the series. Sounds like someone needs some supervision. You know who else needs supervision? My mom! <laughs> yeah! Number 7. Death Punchies Dude, you don't beat anybody at punchies. Yes, I do! No, you don't. Mordecai and Rigby's competitive friendship is on full display in this episode when the two play death punchies. Rigby, upset that he loses every game, is determined to learn a martial arts move known as the death punch in order to help him beat Mordecai. Ultimately, Mordecai learns another move called the death block in order to stop Rigby. By the end of the episode, we see just how much the two care about each other despite how bizarre their fights may get. For once, being a huge baby actually worked out for you. Stop talking! <laughs> Dude, just hurry up and play. Number 6. Free Cake We did it! Let's eat it! No! This episode shows just how far Mordecai and Rigby are willing to go to get what they want. The duo tries to set up a birthday party for Skips as an excuse to have cake. Unfortunately, by doing so, they interrupt Skip's ritual, which is meant to grant him immortality. The two end up sacrificing their cake in exchange for their friend's life, which only makes them even more likable. So where's the cake? Uh, cake? I don't remember anything about a cake. Me neither. Must be a misunderstanding. Number five, just set up the chairs. In, In the, the name of all that is holy, don't connect the red wire to the blue wire? Like most episodes, things start out pretty mundane when Mordecai and Rigby are tasked with something as simple as setting up chairs. Of course, they immediately get distracted when they find old arcade cabinets, including one that clearly states it's out of order. Despite the clear instructions to not connect the arcade cabinet, the two ultimately unleash lethal video game characters into the real world, turning a simple episode about chairs into an epic and destructive showdown. Finish them off, dude!
Number four, a regular epic final battle, part three. You think if we sell this thing, we can make enough money to fix the <laughs> The three-part series finale is well-deserving of its praise thanks to the way the creators took the time to end such an extreme show. It was part three of the finale that really took it home for many viewers. This episode even calls back to the very first episode with a few minor changes. Many of the show's climactic arcs come full circle in this episode, and it really puts into perspective how this seemingly uneventful show became the juggernaut of insanity that it's known to be. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I can't believe we used to do that. Number 3. Space Race Turns coming up. In this episode, Mordecai and Rigby's arcade game skills get them invited to compete in a real-life space race. The race takes clear inspiration from a real video game series called F-Zero, where compact space vehicles are used to race at bullet speed on gravity-defying tracks. The duo works together in the same cockpit and uses their gaming skills efficiently while competing. Now get down and give me 50! Yes, yes sir. sir. Sorry, Sorry sir. sir. Is what I would have said if you hadn't gotten the highest score in Space Racer Deluxe I've ever seen! Number two, excellent. Bring me the omelet. <laughs> Dude, you're allergic to eggs? I thought if I ate really fast, maybe I wouldn't notice. An episode that ended up winning the show, an Emmy, Excellent pushes the show's boundaries and displays just how far Mordecai is willing to go to save his best friend, even if it's at the cost of his own life. Despite being extremely allergic to eggs, Rigby accepts an egg-eating challenge just so he can win a hat. The episode then cuts to Rigby in the hospital, which amplifies the gravity of the episode. Mordecai wins the hat for his friend, again showing just how far he's willing to go for Rigby. Sorry, sir. Time is up. Oh no, we were only trying to help. What? Number one, this is my jam. Dude, stop playing the tape. We've already tried. <gasps> What's wrong with you? Rigby can't seem to get the summertime song out of his head and keeps singing it much to Mordecai's dismay. It gets so bad that the song plays out of Rigby's body and even manifests itself into its own physical form. They conclude that the only way to counter the song is with their very own catchy song. The group gets together to perform their song and face off against the annoying cassette tape. Benson makes the very valid point that you can't make a catchy song without a catchy beat, which is where the showdown really takes a turn for the better. I didn't know you could play the drums like that. Well, it's a funny story. Ah, uh, snap. Ah, uh, snap. Come to our macaroni party, then we'll take a nap. Ah, uh, snap. Ah, uh, snap. No! What do you think of our list? Before you leave, don't forget to give this video a like and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Check out these other videos from The Rewind, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss another video again.